Coco Beauty. I am unboxing my June 2019 Sephora Play box. This is a $10 a month box and you do receive samples, travel sizes, things like that and typically in themes. So typically you receive some makeup products, you receive some skin products and you receive some samples or bonus things. So preface, this is my first month receiving this. I kind of procrastinated on signing up for this because when I watch reviews on YouTube it seemed like some people like absolutely loved it and some people just detested it so having the dichotomy of those two extremes I just kind of waited and watched for a little while and then last month I signed up too late and they had something I wanted so bad so I ended up getting my June as my first box and if we open it up it does look like this now that it won't open it actually has a bag inside and it has like a brochure and it says show off and share using Sephora Play so it also has a 50 point insider code if you if you shop I don't know if it's online yeah it is it's online you can only buy online at Sephora which for any makeup addict it doesn't matter if it's online or in store we want it all so it does have the products displayed and the prices on it so I'm gonna leave this here so maybe I can actually give you prices once in a while because I am terrible at that when I do these so it does come in a bag like this it says work hard play harder and I actually already see something that not good so the first thing that I have is from Tarte and this is their found sealer multitasking foundation so this is in the color fair light sand I think I don't think that's my color with Tarte I think I'm like a 16 N or something like that but let's check it out let's see what's up so I'm gonna Hmm, actually it might work maybe I'm not that's not my color I was using it doesn't really have a smell either so I definitely will be trying that out and actually I absolutely absolutely freaking love when I get foundations like this because I buy more foundation than anything else in makeup and I am struggling so hard with foundation right now because since the heat started no matter what primer I use right here it's separating and it's such a weird place for someone period and much less with dry skin so I keep playing with my primers, hoping that I'll figure it out. One I think is a foundation issue. I have the um, Too Faced, I can't think of the name of it. The, it's not Tutti Fruity, what is it? Okay, so it is the Tutti Fruity. It's called Do You, D-E-W, like Dewy. So I love Dewy skin, and no matter what primer I use with this, it separates every single time. It matches perfect. I actually use the color Snow. Looks fantastic, feels fantastic. And then before I get to any other products, it separates right here so I think actually next time I try it I'm gonna try it with zero primer and just a moisturizer and maybe it's just so much moisture together I don't know so either way so that was Tarte's found sealer and it, that was in shade fair light sand that is Sephora can we have prices please that'd be great so the next thing I see is the Laneige lip sleeping mask I actually just went on a crazy like trade and buy like sell and then buy in Mercari for Laneige's sleeping mask. I am so in love with them. They work so good. Um, the only thing I can say is one of the times that separated on my skin, I did not wash it off in the morning. I was in a hurry, threw on some foundation and it was not pretty. So make sure you wash off the actual sleeping mask, not the lip one. So the next thing I see is the herbivore rose hibiscus coconut water hydrating face mist so i've been talking about in a couple videos i'm tired of the rose scent so i want to see if yes it smells like rose so i will be giving that away <laughs> it is again a rose water it is a glass too it's like really sturdy that's pretty awesome for just a sample so the next thing i see is actually a product that is close to my heart it's the pharmacy green clean this is a um cleansing balm so these actually for anybody that's sensitive they do have an odor I don't find it to be offensive or harmful but I just think that you should know that it has an odor the other thing about this is and it's funny because this is happening like three times and everything but every time I use this my eyes almost like clouded over just for a split second when I was washing my eyes if I got it near my eyes too much and I don't have that problem with the take off the day balm I that's like my holy grail I thought it, I was like imagining it or I was overreacting to it and then on Instagram multiple people were posting that it happens to them as well so it's kind of funny how everybody 
has similar reactions to things but you don't realize it till you start talking to somebody so that is pharmacy um green clean i believe these are like 28 or 30 brand new like a full size so the next thing i see is from the sephora collection and this is a super hydrate hydratant i don't think i've ever seen that word like that acid hyaluronic acid so this it looks like this it's just a little box i'm hoping it's a serum that will make me super excited okay let me just check it out no odor yeah it's it comes out almost it looks like it would be a cream but it's very liquidy and you can feel the hyaluronic acid in it i love that like smoothness that it does to my skin so the last thing i got and this is typically where the bonus item is from what i understand oh yeah this it actually says bonus so i'm blind forgive me is i have two samples from chlorine and i actually love chlorine so this is the anti-pollution conditioner and shampoo I use their dry shampoo. I love chlorine. I think it works fantastic. And I like the fact that it has light and dark sprays. So as I grow my roots out and things like that, or if I'm doing the ombre look, I can use the darker one and I don't have white all in my hair. So I definitely value that. So if we were to look at this box, was it worth $10 to me? Straight up 100%. There is three products on this that make it totally worth it, regardless of the pricing so i've been wanting to try the tart foundsealer i am a fan of tart i know they've had their issues but i try not to cancel brands if they try to come back and fix what was wrong and i feel like tart did make that try the other thing that totally gives me value is laneige lip sleeping mask i collect these i want them they are near my heart and my soul and i want 100 million of them and then the pharmacy cleansing balm and the hyaluronic acid the rose spray i can give away that's no big deal i'm not worried about it so that is my june 2019 um sephora box if you received the sephora box what did you receive i know that we don't all receive the same things it's very it's curated very similar i think to ipsy we do a quiz and all that if you receive something different let me know what you got i'm curious because like i can't even go up to sephora in the menu on my phone it won't even let me see the playbacks so on my phone on the menu i can't even look at like the sephora play menu it says you can see it soon when your box arrives my box here so i'm not sure but let me know what you got and if you like unboxings do me a favor and click the subscribe and ring the bell for notifications we do upload every thursday and sunday as a regular and then sometimes in between if we have extra items to post and then i hope you will like this video liking this video does help us move up in our algorithm and help people find us typically things you watch people that follow you would probably watch as well therefore it helps us out thank you for watching and i hope i see you again soon have a great night